A few days ago I was talking about how I never seem to find any vintage fluorescent lights around here. And then today one shows up on the curb. This is a Allied Fluorescent Manufacturing Company T12 80 watts fixture, 40 watts per tube. These are Philips bulbs. The ones with the green ends, soft white, contains mercury, alto collection. I believe that these are regarded as very good quality bulbs. And it doesn't look like they have too many hours on them. The ends aren't too blackened yet. It could also be that this is a, um, a preheat fixture. Quite likely as it's very heavy. Here's the informations. 118 volts, so it's got to be pretty old if it's listing it that way. I'm not too familiar with the brand, but I'm also not an expert in fluorescent lights because I don't have that many. So this one in comparison to the cheesy ones I have in the garage, this is much better built. We have actual screws holding it together. It doesn't just like fall apart when you touch it. And it's extremely heavy, so it's probably magnetic, magnetically ballasted. Quite possibly, this goes back a few decades. This might be a very good find. Especially if it works, which I think it's going to based on the way it was put out. It's of course very dirty. Probably has been sitting in a garage or something for a while. The mounting apparatus is not present to put a hook with a chain on there. That's probably a grounding screw. It looks like it hasn't been wet, so there should be rust building up or anything crazy like that. I'm going to turn this around to get the plug on the other side where the power source dwells. Actually the bottom of it's pretty clean still. It's in good condition though. Not bad. The fixture seems older than the plug. Although it definitely looks to me like the plug has not been modified. I guess this is an older plug. Right. We are testing with 117 the volts. The uh, clothes dryer is on and the garage heater could potentially be running so the voltage is a little bit low. Let's plug this thing in and see what happens. Oh gosh, the flicker. Holy mackerel. It appears to be a rapid start fixture. Yeah, I believe that's a rapid start. As far as the power information goes, we have 0 0.85 amps, 95 the watts, with a power factor of 0 0.95. So it's a pretty good quality ballast. And actually the flicker has almost completely gone away. Yep, it's almost completely gone. So I guess it just needed some time to warm up. There's a good chance that this has not been running in a long time. Now there is banding on the camera because, because, because of course it is still flickering, but the obnoxious visible flicker has toned down to the point where it's no longer bothering me. So the camera has a refresh rate of 59.94 frames per second. So that's why the, the banding slowly scrolls up because the refresh rate of the light fixture 
is 60 frames. The light fixture does not have frames. 60 cycles per second. So 60 hertz power, AC power. So it's 60 versus 59.94. It does have some hum to it. It's extremely bright. I'll turn off the lights in the room here and you'll see that it makes little difference. This is a very very bright fixture for uh, only 80 watts uh, or what was it 80 or 90 was it 95 I think it was. And 96 watts of power. This is a lot of light. I right, look at this room. The whole thing is lit up. very very bright fixture it's almost blinding to look at yeah that is that is really bright power factor has gone up to 0 0.98 that's a very good ballast with a very good light output that is extremely bright The uh, end of the well, <laughs> you can't see it because of the the uh, banding, but you can kind of see inside the bulb there, the cathodes. And despite all the banding on the camera, it's not unpleasant in person at all. It's it's pretty reasonable uh, quality of light. It's not bad. It's a shame that we have gone away from this type of fixture. This is extremely high efficiency. And it's still working after all these years. So why do we throw these out and replace them with DEL, cheap, poorly made stuff that probably won't even last five years? I just don't get it. Let's see if it starts up any faster. Nope, it's about the same. I'm fairly certain that's a rapid start, uh, which is also fairly easy on the bulbs as is uh, preheat. It's really the, the instant start that's bad for the bulbs because it just instantly puts a very high voltage through the tube to light it instantly. Whereas this at least puts a lower voltage through and, and ignites it a little more slowly, which saves the wear on the on the cathodes and the tubes. So we'll see what we do with this fixture. I definitely got to install it somewhere. I kind of would like to put it over the laundry equipment but now I have a ceiling fan there so we'll have to see. I might, uh, I don't know, maybe I should cancel out that fan over the laundry stuff and put this there instead. I definitely want to use this somewhere because it's, I don't have any other vintage fluorescent fixtures yet and it's a really good fixture. Very good quality and excellent light output. Hmm. So maybe I can hang it up somewhere here in the studio. I don't know. We'll find something for it. And then I gotta see if I can get some spare tubes on hand. As of now, as of the time of this taping, the, the Home Depot does still have a considerable amount of fluorescent tubes available. However, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before that changes.